Hello, everyone, and welcome to Feng Shui with Anita and Cheryl. Cheryl. And here we are with our flock, our F L A W C, which is our way of introducing our flock to our flock. And these yeah. are people that are just making a, you know, just an exceptional impact in the world in the way of raising consciousness, uh, using their gifts and talents, and bringing awareness to, you know, energy, and all kinds of other wonderful things. And our guest today is, you know, one of those people. And, um, and it's really interesting how uh, Mariana and I just met, um, vir you know, for the first time virtually here. Uh, we certainly have had some connections um, socially, but it's really interesting how our web or our community draws people in and how, you know, we have this, this real connection universally. So uh, <laughs> Cheryl, tell us about our yeah. guest. Yeah. Oh, I'd love mm -hmm. to. I'd love to. This absolutely heart wide open, amazing woman actually is in Mexico City. Ooh, hola. And I met her, hola. <laughs> I had the honor and privilege of working with her as one of our hosts um, for Adirondack and Company for Marilyn Harper and Joey Roby. So I got to work with Mariana and her sister-in-law Liliana as we coordinated an event together that happened to have been the last event before the pause hit. Mm. The last live event we did was with her so it's oh. very cool and mm -hmm. through this process we've gotten to know each other fairly good I think um yeah. and I still keep learning things about this amazingly talented woman she's part of our channelers academy is channeling light language and then did this massive piece of art well two of them now one for Marilyn Harper and one for Joy Roby well oh my god the feedback on Facebook when she was showing us how she infuses her intention and the energies and crystalline energy. Like, I just, I can't wait to get into this conversation. So I'll shut up here in a minute. Let me introduce, <laughs> please, our dear friend, Mariana, I tried the tongue roll, De La Vega from Mexico City. Welcome. Woohoo. Oh, woo Thank you. Thank Maracha you very much. Maracha is in the background. The introduction. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you guys and and very honored. I am really happy. Thank you for the uh, invitation. We we're, we're thrilled. After Anita saw your artwork on on Facebook on social media and we're going to get into how you do that cuz mm -hmm. cuz we we're both curious as, you know, I'll get out. It was like oh my God, like you could see the energy. It was mm. so, and, and we'll post links because yes. you have to see yes. this artwork. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we can get that picture in on YouTube too. I'm not sure how we do that, but we'll figure it out. Yep. How, how do you do your art? Like where did it, it obviously comes from the soul, whether you channel it, I please just go with it. <laughs> Well, you know, I just have to, before she, I just have to say, when I first saw that demonstration, you know, that live video or whatever it was, I have never, and I mean, I know a lot of artists, I have never seen that technique ever. And so I, I really believe that, you know, I mean, maybe you can share with us, but I believe that you, um, you are on the cutting edge of something and it's wonderful it's spectacular okay well thank you <laughs> i am i am so honored that you all see um that saw my art and yeah it's a very for me it was pretty weird when it started coming down all the information i did doing um uh channeling all these codes 
and I used to do like small coats and because um, this art started uh, coming down or, or I, I started channeling. Uh, after a trip, I went to Egypt. I got activated there. Um, I, well, that is, that is one of the, like the, the basic, the basic points uh, to go back because I had this call to go to Egypt and I always had this drawn to, to know the Egyptian culture and everything. And until it was 2018 that I went to Egypt and I receive a lot of information through dreams, uh, going to the temples and everything. And after that, I, I started downloading or getting that information through my hand writing. Um, I used to, to write the light language that it's a, it's a, I say it's a cosmic language or a stellar language mm -hmm. um, because it has, uh, for us as human, it has no meaning, but because it cannot be described or it cannot be translated because it's only a vibration. It's a vibration that the that you can feel it in your body, that you can feel it in your in your ADN. I mean DNA. <laughs> in Mexico it's ADN <laughs> in Spanish. But in it, it activates and it, it goes through your through your cells. It it is it is called also the, the language of the heart, you know, because it 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 has no need to be translated. It just goes into you as a vibration. And remember that we are energy and energy is made of vibration. So um, it is pretty amazing how it works. So I started, um, uh, it was pretty awkward at the beginning. And it took me like, <laughs> like one year to understand what was happening because it wasn't really quite normal, this, this thing. I used to channel before, but, uh, but, um, but I, I didn't know quite well who was I channeling or I just received information. Um, after that, I started um, um, understanding what was I channeling and I started, I started receiving information on what was the, in the um, like little notes on what was the meaning of the code. So I want to show you how I started. Um, <laughs> like this is a code um, that I received. It was an Atlantean code and the meaning, the, the only uh, message I received for that is it was releasing sadness uh, guilt, fear, despair, and grief from the Atlantean times, you know? So I received like these little, um, these little messages that I was like, okay, at least I'm, I'm getting something to, to understand what is going on mm -hmm. and why am I drawing all this? So I started um, making healing sessions. I used to do uh, healing energetic work and healing sessions and, and, um, I started receiving the message that people needed their own code. And I used to draw a code for a personal code for the person that, that used to go with me, uh, for healing session. Mm. And that person, it was like a bloom. It was amazing how that person received the code. And they, they used to call me and they say, my life has changed so much <laughs> since I do the artwork. Wow. And I feel the vibration of the codes. And I feel every time I meditate with the code or I just see it, it's amazing how I un understand and start. In fact, they, they used to see like geometry when they close their eyes. And I mean, because they felt the vibration and they were aware now of the vibration of each code. So after that, um, I, I, I paint or I do artwork since like five years ago or six years ago, I started painting because it was something that I really like a lot. But, you know, I was so free. I didn't have any, you know, I don't like, like I'm going to copy this or 
I just arrive at my class and I say, okay, let's see what happens today. <laughs> so I started painting. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am very intuitive, so I don't like very much um <laughs> structure. Uh, yes, <yeah>, structure. <laughs> and so after that, um I started um wanting to pay sacred geometry. And when I arrived back from Egypt, I started drawing a lot of figures and a lot of, of, of sacred geometry. So I was drawn to do it in big scale. So I started buying, you know, this, this canvas, big canvas, and just playing around with the figures and stuff. And suddenly I say, if, if a code, if a personal code can do that for a person, I imagine what it would be to have like this big piece of art mm. behind of you or in your in your in your in a yoga salon or or in an office it's like magic because all the time you're receiving all the codes mm -hmm. and they are activating your cells and and it's like um, once i receive a message that a code or a painting with the light language was an activation um so you can remember uh your mission so you can remember what are you here um in this plane in this uh dimension to work for or or it activates or blooms i don't know if if say bloom it's it's okay like mm -hmm. it flourishes yeah. like the uh that special thing you came to to do in this in this plane you know in this in in earth or in, wow. in this moment, in this lifetime. So um, I started doing it and I, for my surprise, I say, well, it's a very, very small and very um, um, specialized market, you know, or because people probably, they will see, I mean, I know a lot of people that they see my art and they say, oh, cool, good you know but <laughs> but the but the people that knows what it is they really like it and they know what it what it does because um it i make an activation with every piece like every piece is a special piece and i do it like for the person uh especially mm. you know so that is that is the amazing thing that i like all the colors um Many people say, oh, I would like um, a flower of life or a Metatron's cube or a, a, a Merkaba or whatever. And, and when they see the process, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing because um, I can say that every piece of art takes life. Mm. It becomes alive oh, yeah. um, while I am painting because I start with some color and another color and, and then everything for me is very intuitive mm. i mean i go just okay i'm going to put this color and obviously the the person tells me oh i love reds or i love greens or i love um um these uh blues or whatever and and i would like uh the sacred geometry mostly i do it in in golden or silver uh or yeah or copper because i i like it a lot um so it it goes out from the from the back mm. you know it it pops up from the back and i think sacred geometry has like a special vibration and golden and and the golden color or 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 silver color are like the colors with uh the higher vibration yes so mm -hmm. that is what I like to do, like to have the the sacred geometry in a very very high vibration, and and the um, and the back is just what holds the space. Mm, beautiful, love yeah. it, and and yeah, I'm, we're definitely going to post some pictures. So people, I mean, I mean, we can see some artwork behind you, 
And were, yes. were those some of the first ones that you did or did you do those for clients or? No, that one, I did it just for fun for me. <laughs> and because I got this rounded canvas that it was, I say, how cool, <laughs> a round canvas. <laughs> and, and I have it, I have it there. Sometimes I use it to put, you know, like an altar or a sacred space. Or if I do a meditation, I put my crystals in there and codes and all that. It, it has no codes, that mm -hmm. one. Um, and that one is a uh, part that I'm in process. I'm doing in process. So it's almost done. The only thing um, I have to do, it has been activated so far uh, with light. I use light, the, the light from the sun to activate the, the, the geometry mm -hmm. and the, the art piece. How? And after that, I, I write all the codes, connect, and, I, and it's, it's um, a, a download, a channel. <laughs> I channel uh, all the information, and, and that is for a very special person that asked me. For the meta trans cube oh, it's mm -hmm. it's so. it's beautiful it, mm -hmm. so how do you how do you activate with the light and the crystals um i i use some crystals they they are called andaras and there are crystals they are very powerful crystals and the andara have um like special vibration and and i bring in like the um, the coats, the light coats, they are called the light coats because they come from the sun. And, and they come into earth through the sun, even, even though if we don't see it, but they come through the sun and they are activating us, even though if we don't, we are not aware of it. Mm -hmm. So they're coming down all the time. Yeah. And one of the very special things I started um connecting to was the sun so i used to just look to the sun and and i was like i could stay there for hours and everybody said don't look at the sun but i just closed my eyes and i started seeing like downloads I, like all the signs and i was i got this message that all these signs were uh this language or this information that was coming through it and many people were receiving this. So many people are connected to the sun, especially light workers. <laughs> so <laughs> people that work, uh, so people that work, I used to, before I didn't know anything about light codes, I, I used to do it like intuitively. I used to bring that uh, light into the earth and I anchor it. And I used to go to many places and I anchor the light anchor the light to many places and and put some crystals i've been working um like uh grid working they it is called grid working to anchor the light and put mm -hmm. some crystals and that way uh you bring the light with intention and well it's a beautiful mm -hmm. work that uh every everywhere i go if i travel somewhere I bring my crystals and I leave crystals everywhere and bring the light in that place. That is so cool. Yes. So I started doing that like a long time ago, as I said, very intuitively. I, I sometimes was like, mm, it's kind of crazy, but I like to do it. I don't know why am I doing it, <laughs> but yeah. one of the things is that um, I think that it's uh, one of the things that I like about this is that I have trust and I have trust to do what I am told to do. I'm told mm. to do. So I used to say this, this place need, needs light. So I bring in the light and this place need this. And I put intention. And as you know, in energy, everything works with intention. So that is, that is what I used to do. So, so I, when I activate to go back to the piece of art, when I activate um, the, the piece of art, um, I bring in the light and the intention for that person 
to receive what they need to receive. So um, I put my crystals and I'll, I'll show, I'll, I'll send you some pictures of, mm -hmm. of the crystals, how they yeah. get the light and they expand the light also. And, um, and then I download the message. Well, I channel the message and I write it, I write it into the, into the, the, the piece of art. What I, what I found was really fascinating was that you, you're actually physically taking the canvas outside. Yes. Placing the crystal grid on mm -hmm. the artwork that you've already started and then mm -hmm. letting the, allowing the, the, the sun to infuse the, yes. the crystals and hence the artwork. So, I mean, I found that extremely fascinating and, and we're gonna definitely show some pictures. Um, a question though, that I know that some of our listeners are gonna be asking, uh, because you had mentioned it earlier that you used to do energy healing work and you would work with clients and you started to uh, do a personal code for them, just like you mm -hmm. showed us the picture of the Atlantis one. Do yeah. you still do that? Um, you know, is that a service that you offer? Can people contact you? And, and so Cheryl or I could personally have our own code done. Sure. For sure. Yeah. It's, it's the work that, that I still do. Yeah. In fact, um, I love, I love doing healing. Um, I started, well, I used to do it like friends and family about since 10 years ago, but professionally, um, well, I was a photography producer uh, for 21 years and like four years ago, uh, I quit. I just left all the production industry and all the publicity. Um, and, and I started doing this. I mean, it was, it was a very, very strong call um, to stop doing that. So I can, so I could do this like for, for living and, um, and because it was it was the time to be in service, mm. it, so mm. so all the all the paths have opened. Like um, I started doing the healing sessions. I have a place where I do healing sessions right now because of the pandemic. I do it um, uh, by Zoom, um, but I really like it. I I, I love doing this because I know. Um, Many people get um, 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 benefits from from the healing sessions and the and the codes and mm -hmm. and it's a very and it I the only thing I know it's a very special very special healing because it's not a common healing uh, no. session it's a uh, it's very different it's it's I would say it's it's a multi dimensional healing. Nice. So that I'm, I'm curious then, as mm -hmm. you get the downloads, as you channel the info, you're Spanish, you're fluent in English. How do they come into you? How, how do you receive them? <laughs> like, is it in Spanish? Is it in English? Or is it completely um, indescribable? Some, sometimes I do, I do like language spoken. Okay. Too. So it's a it's a different language. Mm -hmm. I mean, you cannot understand it. No. For people yeah. would say, "What?" <laughs> we we I heard get that. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, sometimes it the, um, sometimes I just start singing. I do the light language that I do, or the codes, the light codes that I receive. They are written, drawn, like yeah, like mm -hmm. a drawing paint well paint a uh, painting yeah. um spoken and chanted and also with my hands also uh, i sometimes i start doing sign. light language and sign mm. like sign language right um this was not at the beginning it has been you know like increasing mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I, I think they said, okay, let's go slow with her. Yeah, and then and then we'll bring <laughs> in the other her, technique. Like, yeah. We won't freak her right out right off the bat. <laughs> yeah, she's already freaked out. <laughs> so so uh, so, so you slowly. you've been very talented then for your life. Um growing up for you, Mariana. Did was this something you knew, like you intuitively knew that you were gifted at a young age? And was that was that supported by your parents or like what was life as a little <laughs> person like for you? Uh, I was I was like very different. I was a different one in my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very rebel, uh, obviously. A friend of mine says that, yeah, where well, you're so indigo girl. So, yeah. <laughs> so that, 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 that is so indigo, she, she says. <laughs> so um, I think, I think it was very different. I mean, not that different because I don't remember being, um, I know I was very sensitive, uh, but I don't remember I used to have like conversations with someone else or, you know, like feel presence or nothing. It all started um, about, um, I started with, with Diksha. Diksha is, it's a transmission of energy that you put the hands in the, in the head and, and they unify uh, like the two hemispheres. And what it happens is that uh, you you go into unity you know so I started with that and I started feeling the energy in my hands and I was like oh my god I feel weird stuff in my hands so I was like oh okay that is how energy feels and then I was very drawn by by I think I was uh, kind of very always very spiritual because when I used to go to church, I loved to go to church and, and all that. And suddenly I started like um, um, knowing some other things and, and finding out other ways. And from a time I, I saw that church was very limiting or religion was very limiting. Uh, in Mexico, most of the people is Catholic. So it's a very um, traditional Catholicism. <clears throat> so I come <throat> from a traditional family, Catholic family, and I went to to a school, Catholic <laughs> school, with nuns and well, not not nuns, but very religious people. And and when it, when I started learning about all this, I was like, wow. It's a whole world of <laughs> unlimited uh, knowledge and consciousness and. And, and I can feel a lot of energy. So I started learning and learning and learning. Mm -hmm. And I did lots of courses and, and workshops and, and everything that, that <clears throat> I was discovering. I was very enthusiastic about it. And I was like, oh, I want to learn that. And I love uh, past life. So I want yeah. to go with brain ways and I went to brain ways and, and then I want to know about clairvoyance because I, I could feel that I was very sensitive. Mm -hmm. So I studied like a one year and a half um, a workshop of uh, clairvoyance. So I started, you know, like um, opening all my channels and I was very sick, psychic. I understand that that um, that helped me a lot. So I could um, I I wasn't uh, curious of of learning clairvoyancy because of seeing some other things, but it was like uh, living my life clarity, like understanding mm -hmm. with clarity all that I could see. And you then, know that's it's fascinating, and I mean you know we're gonna already our time is almost up but I know we're going to we're just going to keep you a few more minutes if that's okay because um, again I think that our audience might have some of the same similar questions that yes. are going on and 
So when you say that you are from Mexico City and you talked about the the um, Catholicism being, you know, very strong in Mexico City and Cheryl and I both grew up in a very uh, strong and strict Catholic um, environment as well. And so someone's still having those belief systems. And I mean, Mexico City is hugely populated. You know, how does a light worker like yourself, you know, um, how do you show up in the world in Mexico City? Are you supported? You know, are there, you know, um, are there other light workers, you know, coming, you know, are people awakening and starting to be aware? And uh, just before you answer that, I just want to say one thing that stuck with me through um, childhood and adulthood. And I think that possibly for a lot of um, Catholics maybe has had an impact on our spiritual awareness and or awakening is that, you know, in church, we always, you know, had to recite um, different passages, correct? And one of them, you know, it, it ends up being like a mantra, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when we believe in the Holy Spirit, all that is seen and unseen, right? Mm -hmm. So all of us as Catholics have recited that mantra over mm -hmm. and over and over again. And I think for some people like yourself, that that maybe is something that went poof and opened up to say, okay, what is this unseen energy? You know, what part of the Holy Spirit? And, uh, you know, and again, we could probably have a conversation just on that. But but how does that feel for you in Mexico City? And, um, you know, where where is your circle? Um, well, at the beginning was kind of difficult because no one understood that, especially in my family. Um, but I always got supported by my husband and mm -hmm. children. So that was very, that was very special. And you start meeting at the beginning is like very lonely path, but you start meeting a lot of people that they go like, oh, you like energy? Yes, me too. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so you start matching with a lot of people and they become like, um, like a family. And now I can say that, um, once I open up and once I told everyone that who I was or who I am, uh, it was easier. It was easier. It, it took me a lot of time because I used to do it like secret or, or not informing or telling everyone. But now that I'm, I understand also that it was me who needed to uh, validate what I was mm -hmm. doing. And mm. if people likes it, it's fine. If they don't like it, it's fine anyway. You know, I, I am, I know what I'm doing and I know I'm sure and I'm happy with who I am right now. And I am very happy that I can help a lot. And I am very happy that I can feel the way I feel now and just be myself. And that is, that is the, <sighs> The most amazing thing I understood that I could mm. be myself. And if people think anything about me, it's, it's their belief, not mine. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know who I am. And I say it uh, from a very humble space in my heart, you know, just um, it's a place from acceptance. And, and I think that is, that is the, the best thing to do, oh. or at least is the like the best thing I have done, like be myself and mm -hmm. understand who I am. And this is the way I am. <laughs> so, Love it. Love it. yeah. So I think that way it has been easier because people also accept, uh, accept the way you are. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is. And because, and what you were asking from the church, the only thing I could say is that when I started when I started opening to all this, I realized that I had a very uh, strong connection with God, and I knew um, an unlimited God in me, and and 
and the divinity, the real divinity, not the one that we learned, but the right. one that I felt inside of me. It, it was, wow. I say when I feel it, it, it's like, oh, this is magical. This is amazing. It drives you crazy and, and it makes you cry of happiness and, and feeling, feeling the real source and divinity and, and the presence in you. Love in it. me <laughs> so that is wow. that is what i found out after learning all these techniques mm -hmm. and we well, never stop learning no mm -hmm. never 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 there is always something to learn mm -hmm. you know i think we're definitely going to have to have you back uh because yeah, you know so. what we're gonna People are going to want to learn more and, you know, maybe we could even just do a demo or something. I don't know. But anyways, um, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. And when I come to Mexico City, I'm coming to see you. For sure. For sure. We're going to come and take an art for class sure. or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That would be fun. Cheryl, do you want to wrap it up for us? Uh, uh, no, I don't, guests? but I will. I know. I know. <laughs> We can chatting. <laughs> yeah, we can, exactly. We can we can chat for a bit. Um, we've done that once or twice. Yeah. I, Mariana, you are just such a gem, and I think Anita surmised it earlier, and I, I'm going to do it again. As we step into ourselves, the people that come our way are a match. They're a mirror, which just makes me weep because it's really am I. Have I got that potential when I see you and I, and I speak of your talents and it's so cool who we meet. You, you can't predict it. Yeah. Sure as heck can't plan it. Like two years ago, I would never have dreamed about I'd be doing this or have met you. Right. Or anyway, long story and all about me. Yeah. I am just thrilled that I've had the opportunity to work with and meet you. And I'm really excited because I'm, I'm, I want to, I want a session. <laughs> this need is going, yeah, me too, me too. Me too. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, would, we're we're going to book be, before all the other, all people the rest of the people that, do <laughs> this, that line up and go <laughs> right <yeah>. away. <laughs> oh, so cool. So cool. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank, thank you so, so much. much for taking time out of your busy schedule. Um, and allowing us to introduce you to our flock. Absolutely. I am so happy. Thank you very much because I know you have a, an amazing audience and, and thank you very much. I am so thrilled. I was nervous and, <sighs> and because and it was I easy. <laughs> Yeah. It was our it was our pleasure, and uh, you know what? Be sure to watch the the comments uh, and follow the links down below sure. because uh, you'll want to you know really reach out to Mariana. And uh, so yeah, from the FLAWC, we thank you all for tuning in, and have a wonderful wonderful week. Bye I, for I now. Would like to, I would like to tell you that 